My name is Craig Miller. I am the chef at Rancho de Caldera in Caldera, Panama. We're going to go through the process of deboning a chicken, cutting it into parts. So we'll have um, six parts. We'll have two breasts, we'll have two thighs, and then the two drumsticks. A very sharp knife, a good cutting board, quality chicken, and a couple of bowls to put your bones and your chicken portions into. Everybody should learn to do this because it saves you money. It saves you money in the grocery store because you can buy a whole bird. You don't have to buy one that's already cut up and wrapped in plastic and styrofoam. You have to know the bird. You have to know the skeleton of the bird uh, so you know where to cut and where the joints are so you can separate portions. It's just practice. You have to do it many times in order to really know where, you know, where the joints exactly are, where to, where to cut with the tip of your knife. And once you learn how to do a chicken, you can do a duck, which is a little bit different. It has a longer torso, but you can do a duck, you can do geese, you can do, it even helps the Thanksgiving turkey, just knowing where those parts are. We have two organic chickens here. These come from a farmer in Devine, south of us, an American farmer who grows these for us. Uh, very plump, plump breasts, plump legs on the side. And uh, our first step is going to remove the wishbone. The wishbone is right inside here. Kind of hard to see because it's covered with a little bit of fat and meat. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the knife and we're going to cut around the wishbone. We all know what a wishbone is shaped like. We're going to cut around the wishbone like this. And then I'm just going to get my finger inside there and I'm going to pop out the wishbone. So there's your wishbone. It came out in two pieces, but there's your wishbone. That's going to go into the bone pot, which is right here. Taking out the wishbone is going to make things a lot easier when you cut your breast. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some things out of the way for us. So we're going to use uh, gravity as our friend. That's something that's very important. Always use gravity. Whenever you're cutting up birds, whenever you're cutting up lamb, whenever you're cutting up any sort of carcass, use gravity as your friend. So you're going to cut right there. And this is where the uh, two, obviously the two joints meet. So we're going to come inside there and that's going to just take off the tip of that wing. Now you could bake that, you could batter it and fry it and make buffalo wings out of it, something like that. Other side, again, using gravity as our friend, cutting here, and there we go. So now we've got some parts out of our way. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to separate our legs, take our legs and thighs off. Now you can see here on the carcass, there's this little line of skin in here. There's nothing really connected there, it's just held by skin, as you can see. You can see my finger underneath, right in there. So we're just going to cut that, and then you can see a little bit better. You can see where the joint is, which is down here. Again, we're using gravity as our friend. Cutting around here, and just really easy cuts through the skin, so we can get down to the meat and the joint here. Back of the chicken, you can see there's a little lump right there. Those are called the oysters. It's a nice, tender, dark piece of meat. So we want to cut, we want to be, we don't want to leave those in the carcass, we want to cut so that we include them with the thigh. So we're going to come around like this, you'll see me cut around that oyster on both sides, and then we're just going to lay it down and break that joint. See? Popped out right there, now we're just going to continue finishing the cut, and there it is. Left some of that behind. Oops. Do it once more, cutting through the skin again, so we can see the joint using gravity as our friend, cut around the oyster, crack it open. Now we've got our two thighs. Two thighs, two legs, now we're going to take the breast meat off. I've left this little wing tip on, they call this an airplane wing, the way this is cut. We're going to go down the breast bone, which sticks up in the center there. We're going to go on either side, left or right, wherever the knife takes you. Start a cut right there, this is going to the my right, and you can see how that's cut right along the side of the breastbone. Now, using the tip of your knife, you're just going to sort of peel the meat away from the rib cage until you get down far enough where you can stick the tip of your knife through. That's the that's the end of your breast, and then you're going to cut up here, holding back this little wing to find that joint. Try not to waste any meat. And there's your breast. Once more. This time on the left hand side, along the breastbone. Peel it back with your finger. Look for that skeleton. Tip of the knife. Down to the joint. And then take that off once again. 
with two breasts. Now, there's our skeleton. Virtually no meat on that. We're going to use it for stock. We're going to put that in there with the wing tips. Now, here's the tender. This is the chicken tenderloin, which runs in the center. I'm just going to slice that right off. That, you can bread that and fry it for kids. That's a good option. So we go over here at the meat. And then I'm going to take off this little, this little wing tip here. Wing base, I should say. And there you have a there you have your boneless chicken breast. You can take the skin off from there if you want. And that's gonna go off to the side. Take our tenderloin out again. Cut that end off. Trim it up so it looks nice. There we've got our two breasts. Two tenderloins that come out of that, and then we're just going to finish our thighs. You could, you could uh, use this the way it is. Oftentimes, I take this and I braise it, and then once it's tender, I pull it out and stick it under a broiler to crisp up the skin. And then I use the braising reduction and put it over the top of it. You can serve it on polenta, something like that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, the thigh apart from the drumstick. You can see the little divot right there. We're going to cut into that right at the joint. Now I'm going to take the thigh bone out. Tip of your knife, find the bone, cut on either side. Cut on either side, open it up. You can slip the tip of the knife underneath. Cut it through. Peel the meat off the bone. And then when you get down to that little knuckle, just find where it's soft and cut that off. There's your thigh. And we'll do the other one. Do this a little bit faster. Oop. There we go. Once again, the bone. Cutting on either side, peeling it away. And then once you get down to the knuckle, search where the soft meets the firm. Cut that off right there. So there's your two thighs. Now the last thing I'm going to do with the drumsticks is I'm going to French them. That causes the skin, once it's cooked, to tighten up down here. So you have a bare bone. It looks a lot more attractive and a little bit easier to eat. So I'm just going to pull the skin back with the tips of my fingers like that. And then with my knife, I'm going to cut the skin, meat, and tendons all the way around. Okay? Put it down here. Take my hand around the bone and push down like that. So we're Frenching it. Okay. So there we have our two thighs, our two drumsticks, our tenderloins, and our chicken breast. So having a sharp knife is really important. You can really mutilate a bird with it with, if you don't have a sharp knife. This is a uh, six inch utility knife. You can use a boning knife too. I don't like the body knife, it's a little too thin for me, the blade's a little too thin for me. Yeah. This is a perfect size. You could also use a paring knife, um, like a two inch curved peeler. It's very sharp, because the tip of that is um, very small and you can really get in there and shave off a lot of the meat from the bone. You don't want to leave any, any meat left on the carcass, or as little as possible. And that's how you dismember a chicken. <laughs>